Daryl, you said it would be a difficult task to lift the players. How did you get them? Uh, how did you find it in training? Yesterday? Well, I had to pick myself up the floor. To be honest with you, it was uh, it's a tough one, but uh, we've got to move on from that. Pick the players up after I picked myself up, and, and uh, it's, it's important that we don't let that derail us. It's a game where nine times out of ten you play and create the amount of chances we played, we win the game comfortably. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. You know, we won't be the uh, the last team to be uh, done in the FA Cup shock. We're, we're terribly disappointed, terribly disappointed for our supporters, but we, we've got to move on and, and make sure, like I say, it doesn't derail our season and we and we kick on. Yeah, I mean, it's Bristol Rovers have come back from bigger setbacks than this. Ah, oh, listen, the character's there, the character's in the manager, the character's in the players, but it's about showing it. You know, it's not rocket science, you know where we're at. For whatever reasons, we're choking a little bit in, in front of goal at home uh, with our opportunities we created over the eight or nine home games we've had this season. We've take, been taking those chances away from home, so we've got to, we've got to put a few things right. So, But the, the lads are determined and working hard to put it right, but uh, actions always speak louder than words. And, yeah. uh, you know, we move on to tomorrow night's game pretty quickly. Yeah, and is it good to have a, another game? Always, to yeah, always, and, and, uh, and make sure we get it out of our system. But, uh, the, you know, the true test is that come Saturday in front of our own punters, and I'm sure if we create as many chances as we did, on Sunday and on Saturday, I'm sure we'll stick a few of them out. Yeah, and it's a game of, against a team from a higher level, so that take a little bit of the pressure off as well? Ah, it's pre- uh, not really, because we want to win every game. Mm. It's like, like anything, players have to perform under pressure, managers have to perform under pressure. We don't hide away from that fact. So it's a, it's a good test. They'll be looking to bounce back as well, because you know, although they got beat by another League One team, they're out of the FA Cup just like us, so they'll be looking to bounce back. So it'll be a good test. Yeah, and is the JPT taking on extra significance, if you like? Is it a more important competition now so for Bristol Rovers? I don't take the game lightly Sundays. They're all important games. Every every time every time a player that represents a football club, uh, well, I'm manager, represent in the right way and take every game as serious as the, any game. So that's whether it be under-18s, reserve games, first-team games. You know, let's make no bones about it. We didn't we didn't lose a game for lack of effort and desire on Sunday. We lost it because we couldn't finish in the, the the numerous chances we created. So, uh, but like I say, we move on. And it's a, it's a, they're all pressure games. Yeah, absolutely. And, and what would you expect from South End tomorrow? Uh, obviously, a difficult test. They've uh, obviously promoted last year. Started very well in League One. It'd be a good test for us, but uh, I'm sure they'll be looking at us as well and thinking, well, this is a tough game. So uh, I'm sure it'll be a, a good cup game. Yeah, and Phil Brown, is he someone that you've crossed paths with before? No, uh, not really, but I have a lot of respect for him for what he's done in his managerial career. He's had a, he's had, he's had a lot of success at the clubs he's done at and done great at South End. So he's a manager that uh, I've got a lot of, lot of respect for. Uh, you know, managers that achieve things in their career are the ones you sort of tend to look up to, and he's, he's done that. Yeah, and it's a long trip, isn't it, for midweek? Is that a concern at all, the, the amount of travelling that you're having to do? No, not at all. In fact, can we, can we play away every week? You're not seeing our away form. <laughs> so, uh, at the minute, it's, it's not, not a problem, the, the travelling. It's, uh, it's at home where we've been uh, struggling to pick up the wins. But uh, it's a diff- different sort of test for us tomorrow night, uh, with them being, obviously, higher up in uh, League One. Yeah, and you know that the support's going to be there, aren't they? They're going to travel in their droves and follow you regardless. Oh, fantastic. They're not, you know, they're obviously terribly disappointed. I've got to pick my supporters up. I won't say it's the other way around. We've got to pick our supporters up in front, you know, especially at home. Uh, the away supporters have, have seen six wins out of eight, so it's uh, you know it's a, a chance for us to try and get another away win. But it's our own port supporters we need to pick up off the floor, and that's up for us and uh, me, me staff and me players to do that. And the only way you do that is by winning games at home. Yeah, and, and Lee Nichols saved a penalty at the weekend. How have you assessed his time here? Lee's been uh, it's a miss, you know. He's uh, he's made one or two errors. He knows that, but he's he's a strong character and he's bounced back from those errors. So uh, he'll, he'll keep working hard at his game. Yeah, you back you back him to bounce back strongly. Yeah, back up my players I've done so far this season. We've we've uh, we've done it since I've been manager for the last 15, 16 months. In the face of adversity, we bounce back. We stay strong to a group. We have a siege mentality about it. We've had it for a long time now, and uh, you're always looking for that next game to be a response and none tougher than Southend away.